when literally the best player in fantasy football goes down, it's a major story. Stefania Bell, early in this game, Christian McCaffrey left and he did not return. What do we know about his health? He has a hamstring injury, and if you saw the replay on the broadcast, it looked in real time like he made this cool stutter step. But in reality, he was pulling up his left leg and hopping on the right um, because he obviously felt something at that time. He was able to run through it, essentially ran off the sideline, but immediately was out, did not return for the rest of the game. Matt Rule afterwards saying that McCaffrey was walking around back in the locker room, but that they would do more testing. He expected him to have an MRI this morning, and so we wait. Okay, and we hope for the best, obviously, with Christian McCaffrey. It's hard to infer too much. Uh, I know that Sam Darnold did say in his post-game comments last night, you know, basically we told him, like, don't rush back. We hope to see you later on in the season. Make of that what you will, but let's just wait for the medical information. And Matthew, uh, it stinks. It's brutal. He's the best player in fantasy football. He showed it during the first two weeks of the season. What He's a friend now? of the podcast. He's a friend of the podcast. So he... I think there's two things. Yeah, okay. first off, it's awful. Yes. You know, it's awful. You hate to see any player leave. You hate to see a player of his caliber leave. You hate to see him leave in the middle of a game like that. I think there's a couple of things if you have Chris McCaffrey on your team. Okay, number one is hopefully you already have Chuba Hubbard on your roster, but obviously he's going to be a priority when waivers run. So it depends on your league. Some leagues allow you to pick up players that are that are unrostered even after they've played. You know, like rolling but waivers. On, yeah. But on ES, yeah, but on ESPN that's not the case. On ESPN, if he's available in your league, he will not be available until the waivers run in your league or the Fab auction, whatever it is you use in your league. Okay, so he becomes a priority. I prefer him to Royce Freeman. And it appeared last night that the Panthers did as well. They did, yeah. Okay. So then there's then there's two things in terms of what do you do this weekend. So number one is is that I think that I might take the attitude as, you know what, I might be without Chris McCaffrey for a while. Again, we don't know. I don't want to speculate. But there's a chance this might be a multi-week injury. We just don't know yet. I might, if I had some empty roster spots, I might go through my league and try to pick up the Alexander Madison's, the Samaj P. Ryan's, the 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 guy, the insurance policies guy. of other top running backs. Mm -hmm. You never want to say you're hoping for an injury, but it is a violent game. Players get injured all the time, and at this point, basically, you have to think there's a chance I'm without a top running back going forward. And can I get some lottery tickets on my team now that potentially? After the week three is over, I have somebody that's increased their value significantly that I can either then go trade for a running back or, you know, can use myself. Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm not rooting for injury. I'm not predicting anyone's injury, but it is a fact of the game and just feels like you need to try to be proactive in seeing what you can do to fix what is going to be a massive hole on your roster potentially for a while. The other thing is, is to understand that maybe seeing how your Thursday night played off, like if, if, I'm in, in our dynasty league. I have Chris McCaffrey. I played Mike Clay. Mike Clay has DJ Moore. I am down significantly heading into the weekend. So I'm going to restructure my lineup to be more upside because obviously I was counting on, you know, 25 points from CMC and I got six. Right. So now I've got a 20 putt and obviously Mike got a huge game from DJ Moore. So now I have to reconfigure my lineup a little bit to be more upside, more more uh, high risk, high reward versus then more just sort of a s safe steady because I think – even keeled, I think I've got a pretty good shot up against Mike, but now I don't think I do. If Chuba Hubbard is the man, kind of the one-man band in that backfield, not to the degree that Christian McCaffrey no. was, but if he is clearly the lead back, I think we probably view him as like a top 25 or so running back until Christian McCaffrey returns. He was a record-setting runner at Oklahoma State, but as we know with Christian McCaffrey, what makes him so unique is that he is the best pass-catching running back in the NFL, and it is not particularly close. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.